Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O. In this video, we're going to talk about all the different types of T cells. So T cells are a type of lymphocyte. We've covered the natural killer cells already, the NK cells. We'll cover the B cells here in the next video. So um, here's the kind of the story I like to tell when, you, when we're dealing with our T cells. So we have the helper T cells at the top there, what are called the CD4 T cells. Those are going to be the generals because their job, they, they don't kill cells directly, but they activate and direct other cells to do the work for them. So they're going to be the generals. Then next we have, let's, let's get down to the cytotoxic T cells or the CD8 T cells. These are going to be the soldiers. These are the ones that directly kill other cells in what's called cell-mediated immunity. Then in the middle, you have what are called the regulatory T cells. You'll hear, you'll hear them called Tregs as well. I'll put that on the screen. Um, I personally still call them suppressor T cells. That was their name for a while. But regulatory T cells or suppressor T cells, consider them the Peace Corps. So we have the generals that direct the, the battle. We have the soldiers, and now we have the Peace Corps. They're the ones that try to keep the peace or make sure that there's not too much uh, conflict. So they keep your immune system from getting out of hand, right? Which, because if you know, too much immunity is a terrible thing, can lead to hypersensitivities, anaphylactic shock, autoimmune conditions, and the like. All right, so uh, other than the T regs, I still want to talk more about the helper T cells and the cytotoxic T cells here, but I just wanted to introduce them all in one place. Let's go ahead and dive in. So here you see the CD4 positive T cells, those are your helper T cells, and the CD8 positive T cells, your cytotoxic T cells. So CD4 is going to matter. I mean, these are different receptors, basically. But the CD4, you're going to hear that if you ever learn about HIV. So HIV specifically infects and destroys the CD4 positive T cells. It infects the helper T cells. So someone with HIV is getting their T cells checked. They're looking for these, the helper T cells. And if the T cell count drops below 200 cells per microliter of blood, then you, you now have AIDS. HIV becomes AIDS. So here, just real quickly, you see the CD4 positive T cell on the top. Not only does does it activate and direct the CD8 positive T cell there in the corner, but it also activates your B cells. So this, the helper T cell is the general responsible for both halves of your immune system. The cell mediated immunity by directing cytotoxic T cells to kill other cells and antibody mediated or humoral immunity by activating B cells to become plasma cells and make antibodies. Here you see what a, a naive helper T cell, so naive just means it's a fully functional immune cell but it doesn't have a target yet. It hasn't been told what to look for. So once a naive helper T cell has been given a mission by an antigen presenting cell like you see here, now it's going to become either a Th1 cell, a Th2 cell, or a memory helper T cell. So I don't make a huge deal out of this, but just so you know, the Th1 cells, they're gonna be the ones that activate the other types of T cells, your cytotoxic T cells, and also cells like macrophages. So they're gonna have those cell media immunity uh, related cells be, be um, activated. The Th2 cells are the ones that are going to activate your B cells to become plasma cells and make antibodies. And memory helper T cells are going to be there for the next time you see the same, the same antigen. So the next time you're exposed to something, that's how we develop immunity. We have memory cells of all different types that are waiting um, to start this response more quickly the next time. All right, then same picture as before, but now we're looking at those CD8 positive T cells. Instead of being the general that, that direct the combat, these are the soldiers. They're going to actually find their targets, and they're going to attack and destroy their targets. They use uh, very similar chemicals, very similar to methods to the natural killer cells, but they have a very specific, tar specific target. NK cells, or natural killer cells, they, they're involved in immunological surveillance because they just know that something's wrong with a cell. The cytotoxic T cells has a very specific target. Once it finds it, as you can see there, it attacks and destroys that cell using the same chemicals like perforins, granzymes, these types of things that are going to have this cell basically um, implode or kill the cell uh, directly without letting it leak all of its contents hopefully into the environment because that could actually help these pathogens spread infections. Here you see the same thing. A naive T cell is given its mission. It's given a wanted poster and says this is the cell you're looking for and then some of these cells are going to become activated cytotoxic T cells and go and attack and destroy that, that enemy. Some are going to become memory T cells, which are involved the next time you're exposed to something. Okay, so those are all the different types of T cells you're supposed to know. A lot of important information here. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.